I'm Ms. Frazier and today we are at Fairfield Middle School and this is my eighth grade English class and we will be going over reviewing main idea in a text. All right, so anybody can tell me what main idea is or you remember what main idea is. Go ahead, Acacia, because you look like you know. Say it again. Right, well, main idea, you look up here, it's a complete sentence that includes the topic. And it, so what does it tell you? What, it's what the author wants you to what? What does the author want you to do with the main idea? He wants you to do what? He wants you to know about what he's speaking about or say what he's speaking about. And what can, what's a topic? Anybody remember what topic is? Subject of the text. So everybody remembers the TikTok um, everybody's uh, on TikTok, oh my lord, it's a snapping turtle, right? <laughs> so I found an article of a high school student that actually um, searches for amphibians and reptiles. So we're going to look at this article and we're going to pull out the main idea from each, each uh, paragraph. So his name is Tim Holland and as you can see he has a snapping turtle, turtle or as y'all say a snapping turtle. <laughs> And he has a TikTok page. So I'm going to, who has, uh, open up your newsella. Everybody open up your newsella and go to the article that says, Georgia teen's love of herping gains him following on TikTok. You're getting paper today. Anybody else need paper? I know Jira takes paper. You good, Sam Samaya? Or you want paper? Take your glasses off tomorrow. Anybody else need paper? Or your, go to Newsella and find the article that says Georgia teens love of herping gains him a following on TikTok. Can anybody think or guess what herping means? Herping, H-E-R-P-I-N-G. Yes. Nope. Good guess. Has to do with reptiles and amphibians. It has to do with turtles, yes. So what herping is, is the practice of searching for reptiles and amphibians. So Tim Holland, this guy here, he goes out and finds reptiles and, and amphibians. And he also, like I said, has a TikTok page where he, when he finds them, he tells you facts about them. So we're gonna read this and then we'll um, pull out the main idea. Everybody got their uh, article up? And I'm going to start at the first, at the first uh, paragraph. As Tim Holland walked along a creek, a large black snake suddenly slid out from a bush. He was ecstatic. Anybody know what ecstatic means? Yep. When the snake slithered up a hill and threw tall grass at incredible speed, Holland dropped his bag and ran for it. He stopped halfway up, slowing his pace as he followed the snake which was only visible by the grass moving about three feet in front of him. When he reached the top of the hill, the snake had escaped, but Holland won the thrill of the experience. Holland is 18 years old and a senior at Lucy Craft Laney High School in Augusta, Georgia. Some of his friends think Holland is crazy for what he does, but herping, the practice of searching for reptiles and amphibians, has become his passion. And everybody knows what a passion is, right? All right. All right, so as far as main idea, remember I showed you the stool and your main idea is the, the top of the stool. What are the legs called? Down, what, did, what did I call these here? Supporting details. So I'm gonna give everybody a stool before I move on. Everybody gets a stool. And I'm going to model for you how to pick out the main idea in the very first paragraph. And then we'll do some more practice. Here, Deshaun. Anybody need a pencil? I'm going to continue with the second portion, a love for cold-blooded creatures. Ever since he was young, Tim Holland has loved animals particularly the cold-blooded kind. He decided to try herping in 2020 
but said the first time was a lo was low key hard because he didn't know exactly where the animals were. After doing more research on local animals and their natural habitats, he went back out and found his first reptile, a king snake, which is a non-venomous species commonly found in Georgia. Everybody knows what non-venomous means, right? Yeah. <coughs> what is it? Not yeah, what does it mean? Not right, but what happens if he gets bit? Uh, right. It was cool, he said. I know there's a lot of people that's not going to see this. It's a cool experience. Experience and hands-on education have taught Holland a lot since then. He knows the hot spots for particular breeds of frogs, lizards, bugs, and other creatures and has developed a sharp eye. As he walked along the trails with a reporter, he found a skink that was so small and so camouflaged that it was particularly invisible until it started moving. Skinks are a type of lizard. So in this section here, how would I find the main, the main um, idea? So we want to first identify the topic, right? Or the subject, what are we talking about? What was that H word? Herping, right. So in your own words, how would you describe this section? So I would look at the first and the last sentence. Yep, his love and what else? Yep, so on my stool, um, I have a big stool here. So my main idea, my, my main idea is Tim loved cold-blooded animals. So... Don't write on your stool yet. I'm just wanna show you how I did this. So he had a passion for him, right? Love, love is the same thing, love and passion. Now let me see, since he was young. Since he was young. So that's my main idea from that section that he Love cold-blooded animals since he was young. What's one of the supporting details? What's one of the supporting details? Go ahead, Acacia. Say it again. His love for it? Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else with a supporting detail? Jevin, you look like you want to say something? No? Savante, you want to say something? Okay. All right, so my supporting detail for this one is he tried herping before. So he had some experience with it. So, um, had experience. He did some research, right? Yeah. So one of my, um, my supporting details is he did research. And sorry if it's not as clear as I usually have it. And so the research helped him to gain, he gained experience here as well on where to find these animals. All right, what's, another, what's my last supporting detail? What do you think it is? Somebody has said about a lizard. Was that you, Julius? That said something about a lizard? So he found, he was able to find a skink he found where the animals live all right so those are my supporting details um and i want to add up here for two um did not know where the animals lived All right, so everybody good? See how my stool is? So if I didn't have any of this, my stool would fall over, right? And I can't have a one-legged stool. So I have to have three legs at least. All right, so we're gonna go back to our, go back to our article. And this time, I'm gonna read it, but I want you all to tell me. Sharing his love of herping. After a while, some of Holland's friends tried out herping too. It was one of these friends, Rose Smith, that inspired him to start a TikTok page about herping. It took some convincing, but Holland eventually decided to try it and started his TikTok page, which he named Nuck Herping. Nuck is a nickname. 
He posted his first video in February 2021, so he was doing all this during the pandemic. The overall format is pretty simple. Holland shows an animal he has found, says a bit about it, then he repeats. The channel has slowly become very popular with his biggest video gaining more than 2, mil 2 million views in April. As of April 28, 2022, the channel has nearly 102,000 followers and almost 750 likes. Is that a lot? Is he viral? You think he's viral? <laughs> Holland said it's got, what'd you say? What'd you say? Oh, it is big for you to get, and it's about reptiles. I think that's pretty big, Julius. Holland said it's gotten so big that fans have started asking him for merchandise with his logos and phrases. He says, like, that's a pretty cool find. He is currently designing them. It makes me happy, happy Holland said, of his TikTok channel. He encourages others to find something that you love to do, not just to go the route that people keep telling others to do. So what would be my main idea here? Starting his channel. What else? Anything else? Yep. Yeah. So my main idea for that one was Tim's friends encouraged him to start a TikTok page about herping. What was one of, what's his, what's his, uh, his page called? Nuck herping. herping. So that was one of my, Nuck herping was one of my, um, that would be one of my supporting details. So if I have another, if I do another stool here, my three legs so no not yet so he started his TikTok page that would be my main idea pay the page is called Nuck herping what's a, what's another supporting detail What'd you say, Acacia? Anybody else? When did he start it? Twenty. Yep. And how many views did he get? Over what? Two. Keep going. Two. It starts with an M. Over two million. And I need one more to keep my stool up. You know. My stool standing. What what is he? He's about to monetize his page. So what is he gonna create? Yeah, but what is it he's gonna he's gonna be able to sell? What are his viewers asking for? They're asking what you say? Yeah, they're asking for merchandise. So they want him to ha put his um his sayings on um t t shirts or you know, one um, book bags or something like that. His viewers want merchandise. So that's my supporting detail. So, so everybody understanding or how we find this main topic, right? Everybody got a stool, right? So what you're going to do, one side of the room, um, I'm going to have you do the fourth and fifth paragraph and the other side you're going to do the other one. Um, oh, All right, so on the side where it's Marion, Jaira, Malia, you're going to do animal safety. All this side, do animal safety, you read the paragraphs and find the main idea in three supporting details. Acacia, Julius, your side is going to do Holland's next adventure. His name is Tim Holland. So I need you to do the Holland's next adventure, and I need you to pull out the main idea and three supporting details, and I'll come around to see if everybody got it. Right, that was his. So what is it, what is he planning to do after he graduates from high school? Travel the world. And what else? Uh, yes, but what is this, what is called here? Oh, go to college. Right, so your main idea would be what? After high school, climate college. 
probably in a lot of oil. There you go. So that's what be your main idea. Okay. Put it right there. This is the what you need to pick to read and pull out the main idea and the three supporting details from these. So what is your what 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 would be your supporting detail from here? What do you what do you see in here about animal safety? Remember I said non venomous? So do you think he handles snakes that he would, if he gets bit, he would get sick? Because he doesn't want to harm himself. So if you're reading here, he tells his followers um, to, to take it seriously. And he, t he keeps a distance from venomous or otherwise dangerous animals. So that could be one of your supporting details is he doesn't handle dangerous animals. Very good. Okay, that's good, Acacia. Thanks. That's good. Let's see what Julius has here. It's horrible. <laughs> he is going on his next what? Okay. Let's put adventure there. I need a whole sentence. So when you're writing your made idea, make sure if I didn't read the article ahead of time, I know what you're talking about because I don't want to be lost. All of you all that did do it, you do get the concept of main idea. So when we're looking for main idea, what are we looking for? The first thing. Starts with a T. The topic, which is the what? Subject of the text. So this one was about solely about herping. And what else are we looking at in the text? What did you say? The, yes, the first and last sentence. That helps as well. And then what's the last thing? How do you... When you made your main idea, what did you do? You summarized it in whose words? In your own words. So one more time, how do we find a main idea? Summarizing your, in your own words. And what else? There's two more things. The topic and the first and last sentence. All right, everybody good? Thank you for joining our class um, here at Fairfoot Middle School. We hope you enjoyed the lesson. And um, check out Nuck Herping on TikTok.